Well, good morning from Hong Kong. It's seven in the morning, a little early to be out in my opinion, but today we're going to Macau. Special day. So we've got our tickets for Macau. Yeah, 160 Hong Kong dollars each. It's just over 20 US bucks. Yeah. And they give you your seats as you basically arrive just before, after you go through your immigration. So yeah. we just got these little stickers for 17M and 17K. And guys, don't forget to bring your passport because technically you're going to a different special administrative region. You're going from Hong Kong to Macau. So yeah, now we're basically, we're gonna go catch our transportation. We're looking to find one of the free shuttle buses to the yes. hotels. We're looking for the possibly the Venetian bus. And then we get started. <laughs> I feel so cheeky. We're being so cheap instead of paying for a bus or for the taxi. No, that's, that's what free everyone shuttle. does here. That's what everyone that's does true. here. mentioned this but today is just a day trip from Hong Kong so we're not actually staying here in Macau we did that once before and it is super expensive here like everything's overpriced so we thought we would just visit for the day and yeah we're gonna be making a little guide and showing you a few of the different things that you can do here and eat here we're gonna be sampling lots of good food All right, so we figured since we took the free shuttle to the Venetian, we should probably visit the Venetian. What do you think? Yeah, so we've just been checking it out here, and it, it's definitely not, obviously not like Venice, but I guess it's a casino version of Venice. It's a bit like Vegas. It's a bit like Vegas. <laughs> and yeah, you know, Macau has been, call, been called the Vegas of China, so I yeah. Mean, yeah, we're gonna go check out a few other casinos and then I think we're gonna spend the rest of the day exploring more of the historic ruins. Yeah, more and of eating the cultural a side. More of the cultural stuff and then eating a lot of street food as well too. I have to say, walking through casinos is exhausting. These buildings are massive. We're currently trying to reach the Parisian from the Venetian. I feel like we've been walking for 15 or 20 minutes. Still not in sight. of hotels and casinos for a while and we've walked over to Taipa and over here we're gonna be visiting the Taipa Houses Museum there's also like a nice little park with wetlands behind us so yeah it's a lot quieter and more peaceful over here I would say I prefer it <laughs> So what did you think of the museum? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's free to visit and there's about four different houses you go into. Mm -hmm. Each house had its own different kind of uh, like 
theme or gallery. Yeah. One was a living museum, there was another where there's artwork, there's other where there's old photographs. So yeah, if you pop by here, you can check out the different houses, just pop in and it doesn't take long to visit them at all. We have now been walking around for a few hours and I'm starting to feel the hangar vibes. Yeah, so it's a good time to go eat, it's just before noon and it's time to scarf down on some Mackinac street food. Let's get food! So we kind of have a list of things we want to try here in Macau, yes. and this wasn't on here. Wasn't so on the list, but we saw it. It a looked nice interesting. Surprise. So what's this one? So this is an egg pudding, but I got the chocolate egg pudding. So yeah, they also like green tea, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like an egg. They've sliced off the top. I don't even know how you make this, to be honest. Like, do you shake the egg until it's creamy? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> we have no idea what this is, and that's what makes it so exciting. Mm. Well, it does not taste like boiled eggs, so that's excellent. It's really creamy, look at that. Is it, like is it sweet? Like, how is yeah, it? Yeah, it's literally like pudding. Okay. Maybe it's just like mm. pudding that's been put inside of the eggshell. Maybe that's the, it's just the mm. preparation of it. Look. Oh wow. That's this is a mystery to me. No idea how it's made, but it is so delicious. Wow. I'm Sam. Sam doesn't like eggs, so he was like, no, I won't have one. Mm. So you can eat it all You're then? You're missing out. Seriously. This is like chocolate pudding. So creamy, so smooth. Unbelievable. So it took us a while to find a place that was serving pork chops this early, but we finally yeah, found Yeah, some of them one. were gonna start serving until 2 p.m. And it's Imagine around that. noon right now, so oh <laughs> bummer. But we found finally found somewhere. And this this pork chop bun is one of the most popular uh, street foods you can find in Macau. Yeah. It's basically Oh, oh wow, you. here comes our tea too. Bubble it's tea. basically considered uh, a Macanese specialty. Uh-huh. And it's almost considered like uh, a Macanese hamburger. Yeah, right? Macau's take on a hamburger. So you've got your pork chop in the middle. Yeah. And then you have a crispy bun. Well, it's crispy on the outside and it's, it's supposed to be soft on the inside. So yeah. I'm I am dripping sauce all over the place. Time for me to just take a bite. Next up, we're having pastéis de nata. And this is where you start to see the Portuguese influence in Macanese cuisine. This is something that you find everywhere in Portugal. We had these when we were in Lisbon. There's a really famous shop um, in Belém. And yeah, these are really tasty. <laughs> I've had these often. I know. So <laughs> let's dig in. So excited to be having them again. Mm. And the Macanese mm. take on it is really good. Mm. Really good. Look at that. It's like so custardy inside. Wow. And we got these from what is considered to be a famous place for them. It's called Lord Stow's. Lord Stow's, yeah. Yeah. It's not from the original shop, but it's mm -hmm. from one of the branches. And uh, yeah, we were just really lucky to bump into it. It's so flaky. <laughs> the exterior, look at that. Can you see the layers there? It's like new food. <laughs> I really enjoyed visiting this area, Taipa. I hadn't been here before when I was last in Macau. And it's pretty cool. It just feels more historic. It's colorful, great street food. So next up, we're gonna head to Sonado Square. And to get there, we're gonna make use of some of the free transportation provided by the casino. <laughs> shuttle that they used to have from the Galaxy Hotel to the area around Sonato Square a few years ago no longer runs. What? <laughs> so we're going to the Star World. Instead. Yeah. And so then that's from there, us. I think we're going to be walking about 20 minutes, the guy said. Yeah, so. it's getting us halfway there and then we have to walk. Getting a little, <laughs> we're getting a little spoiled, I'd say. <laughs> to 
Colorado Square, but then we spotted these really pretty gardens, so we're taking a bit of a detour. Yeah, it's been nice so far, and we've just been walking around, and I think we're probably only like five or ten minutes away from where we want to be, so getting closer. <laughs> at the moment so we're at Sonata Square this is where we've been trying to, to walk to yeah, now for a while yeah and I've just been taking some time lapses to setting the camera up on the tripod and I think we're gonna try to go find a bite now we're getting a little peckish again again and you know what it's looking super Christmassy around here it is check it out it's only you know what it's like what 19 days away from Christmas so. yeah but by the time you watch this Christmas will be long gone yeah. happy 2017 <laughs> is just a little bit too crowded for me. We're at a standstill. We're not moving. Not going anywhere. Ow. St. Paul's ruins. Yeah. <laughs> we still haven't found food though, so we're getting getting a little hangry. We have St. Paul's Ruins off in the background and Sam ready to sample more food. Yeah, so something you're going to find in Macau, well just about everywhere, especially around the St. Paul's Ruins, is you get this, this beef jerky that's for sale. Yeah. And you buy these big slabs and they cut it up for you, like there's just a huge amount here. So I'm going to try it. I, think it's, I did sample this one, it was sweet. Is it beef or pork? That's mm. the question. So yeah, it's pork. Pork. <laughs> pork jerky. Mm. It's really nice. It's got like a sweet glaze on it. Kind of reminds me of um, if you've ever had a a cooked ham that's been cooked in like a like molasses maple or, syrup. or maple syrup or something like that. Very Canadian maple Ca syrup. Kind uh -huh. of kind of has that glaze that glaze type uh, sweetness on the outside, and it's nice meat. It's not unlike uh, the other jerkies I've had before. It's not as chewy. Um, it basically you just bite into it and the meat basically disintegrates in your mouth. So it's nice. It's uh, <laughs> we've got a lot. Look at that, <laughs> man. We're gonna be here for a while. So we're still trying to eat our way around the city here, and it's starting to rain. <laughs> Today was supposed to be zero percent chance of precipitation. And but with all these clouds, I'm, what's I'm actually surprised it didn't <laughs> rain earlier. Anyways, we found our next snack, and we're having almond cakes. So check those out. It looks really powdery and it actually has chunks of almond in it. Wow. So let's and see. we saw these being freshly made. Mm. So it's mm. pretty amazing. That's why that's how we decided on the store. We're like, oh, they're making them right outside. Mm. So how are those? Good. It's quite dry. It's almost like a chalky, like powdery texture. So if Wait. you're planning on having <laughs> a few, you probably want tea or like some kind of beverage it. nearby. Want a bubble tea? Mm. Want to have a bubble tea nearby? We didn't get a bubble tea actually. <laughs> That's next. That's next. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Really tasty. Kind of a nice like Christmas treat. Almond for some reason. It seems like a Christmassy ingredient. All right, so Sam is now rocking a purple drink in his hand. <laughs> yeah. What could that possibly be? So we've had uh, bubble tea in both Taiwan and in Hong Kong. Yeah. But we haven't had it in Macau, mm -hmm. and we haven't had taro before. So this yeah. is purple color, and you can see it still has the tapioca jellies at the bottom. Yeah. But time to try it. Mm. All right, so taro milk. Mm. What does taro milk taste like? <laughs> it's really sweet. 
it has uh, a bit of a creamy taste and you can you definitely can taste the taro it's uh does it it's taste strong. like potato like potato milk <laughs> a little bit it still tastes a bit like tea though too it's really good so next we're heading into museo de macao we have not decided whether or not we actually want to go into the museum still debating that we've been walking around a lot and visiting a museum involves more walking i'd be pretty happy to just enjoy the view maybe eat some more so sam what's the one determining factor on whether you want to visit a museum or not what do you always ask can we take photos? Can we, I thought you were going to say, is it free? Oh, is, is it, it free, free too? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're like three things. If it doesn't meet those criteria, then sometimes I just do not go in. So that was made easy. The exhibit was actually closed, so we can only enjoy the terrace. But the terrace has some pretty cool views. So we're here. <laughs> So Sam, last attraction of the day, where are we? So we are at Montefort. Montefort. Yeah, it is starting to rain quite a bit. Starting so. to rain and it's been a long day, so we're gonna head back and leave you with these magnificent views. We should probably say thank you to the Wynn Hotel for that private transfer to the ferry <laughs> terminal. We're the only people on the shuttle bus, literally. And, and we didn't even stay at their hotel. Yeah.